Hey guys, Geopat92 here. I'm geocaching today with Saran Brand. It has been forever since we've been geocaching. We both work at a summer camp all summer, um, so we can't cache really at all during that because we're always working. And then just since school started, we've just been busy and stuff. Actually, one of the things we're busy doing is starting a, a geocaching club at our school. Pretty cool. Um, but it feels good to be out and caching again. It's been hard to get out because it's been either super hot or raining like every day. So we finally got some time and we're going to go do some caches real quick. So come along with us. <laughs> Rammer's already looking. I'm actually, this is my first time. I finally got a smartphone. Yeah. So I'm actually trying to use CGO for pretty much the first time. I'm trying to get the hang of it still. Got the compass out right now. It's stuck in meters. I gotta figure out how to change that to feet. Um, but we think it's somewhere up high. So the hint was not at ground level, so Rammer's checking up here behind these metal things. Yeah? Got it? Nice. Gosh, we're about to DNF that. Nice. Good job. So we're going to the next one. Um, I'm still trying to get the hang of this thing. I think I, I got to figure out to where I can track it on here, but like, I don't know. Well, I can't do it. <laughs> but it's different than I've, I've used the real geocache app before, but CGO is interesting. Alright, so we're somewhat coming up from ground zero. We're going to try to avoid these uh, tennis play muggles behind us. We think the cache might be a tennis ball because everything about the cache is about tennis near a tennis court. It's so the favorite point, so we'll see. We checked it here. I think I already see it. Yeah, I already see it. We checked in here last time, remember? Want to pull it out? Yeah. No way that it was there last time. That's it. Yeah. So not a tennis ball like we thought, but still fine. So we're here at next ground zero. And uh, the name of this one is a plant. So remember making grab number two. Nice. What is it? It's a camel. Nice jar. Got a cool travel bug. Nice. Let's see where it's... What its mission is. An another one. Remember Gordon Cowden. We, we shall. And the bat symbol. Wait, oh, what? Oh, it's from the the Dark Knight is it, is, shooting. Uh, it is? Yeah. It's awesome. It's like a whole new world with a smartphone. Now I can just take a picture of the travel bug and log it straight from there instead of having to like write it down and do it later. I like it. Alright, we're getting close. According to CGO, we are 10.3 meters. So I should know what that means in feet, but sadly I don't. Here's a mushroom thing. It's looking pretty real though. It's gotta be somewhere in here. Check it out. We are having a pretty hard time in this one. I got this tool over the summer. One of these mirror tools got a little light on it and it actually came in handy. But I couldn't find it. I looked back in here. Probably won't be able to see it in the mirror. Yeah, right there, you can see it. You can see the little box. So there it is. Should be, anyway. Oh. Boom. Yeah. Did you see it? It worked. Pretty cool. I'm glad it came in handy. I didn't think it was actually going to do anything. Yay for Geo Tool. Yeah. You don't think it's up? Alright, you go down. I'll go up. We'll see. I don't know what, but it's cool looking. Ah. Getting close to ground zero. Who picked the right side of the fence? We'll see. Probably you. <laughs> Took that fence. No? Nothing. Yeah. Already? Get it. Watch out! Need the, the geo. Hey! Nice. Boom. Didn't even need right the geo the tool. Right side of the bridge wins. Bummer. Yeah. Just in case you wipe out. I'll put it on YouTube and become YouTube famous. Go viral! Ooh. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> Bragging. A little speed racer graffiti. Nice. Alright guys, real quick before we go, I just wanted to mention that uh, a big name company, I can't tell you who it is, decided to sponsor my channel. Really cool of them. Again, I'm not going to tell you who it is. Um, but you should see some real high quality cameras and effects and stuff in the future. Just kidding, not really. But before we go, I just want to say we had a lot of fun today geocaching. Um, it's been a while since we've been out doing it, um, and it felt good just to get out and get in the habit of it again. And what other cool place in Florida can I go from a super hot, terrible day to a really stormy thunderstorm craziness to just a beautiful sunset, beautiful weather. It feels great out. I'm so happy we got to go out and do this today. 
Um, we hope you enjoy our adventures and see you next time.